Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Raj from Radical Dakar, your process automation strategies. And welcome back to the flow measurement crash course. In this video, we are answering one of the most common question in industrial automation. And that is, how do I choose the right flow meter? Whether you are measuring water, gas, steam or chemicals, selecting the wrong flow meter can lead to poor accuracy process failures and unnecessary cost. So let's simplify the decision or process. The first thing you need to understand is your media. What exactly are you measuring? So let's break it down one by one. For liquids, consider magnetic, ultrasonic or Coriolis flow meters. Depending on whether the liquid is conductive and how accurate your readings need to be. For gases, your options include thermal mass, vortex or differential pressure flow meters. And for steel, you'll typically use vortex or DP orifice plate flow meters. This handle high temperature and pressure well. And for the mass flow, choose a Coriolis or thermal mass flow meter. This gives you a direct and accurate mass flow measurement. Now let me give you one quick tip. Always check properties like viscosity, density and cleanliness and conductivity. They heavily influence meter performance. Now ask yourself, what's the actual goal of my measurement? Is it for batching, process control, billing or safety monitoring? Do you need totalized volume, instantaneous flow rate or both? And how is the flow in your pipeline? Is it continuous, pulsating or intermediate? Choose a flow meter that fits your control strategy. Also, consider factors like your pipe size, available straight run before and after the meter and installation space. Meters like Vortex and ultrasonic often require proper straight lines for accuracy. Now next, let's talk about outputs and communication. Most industrial flow meters provide 4 to 20 mA analog output for PLC or SCADA system, pulse output for totalization and batching, and digital protocols like Modbus, Hard, or Profibus. If you are setting up a smart plant or going for Industry 4.0 revolution, then look for meters that support Ethernet, wireless or IoT ready connectivity. Here, bonus tip is that some advanced flow meters include built-in totalizers, real outputs and even data logging. So you can skip extra devices and simplify your pedal design. Now let's wrap it up. Here's your five step checklist for your choosing the right flow meter. First, know your media like liquid, gas, steam or slurry. Second, define the goal, control, batching, monitoring or billing. Third, match the technology like magnetic, vortex and so on. And check your outputs like 4 to 20 mA, pulse or more bus. And fifth, review your installation condition like orientation, pipe runs and space. Still unsure? Drop your application in the comment section and we will personally guide you. If you found this video very helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you all in my next video for flow transmitters. Thank you so much.